Hello, YouTube. Got stuff in my teeth, sorry. <sighs> Hello, good morning, afternoon, evening, as it were. Stephanie asked a good question on Facebook. She wanted some general advice for going raw. And so, let's talk about it just a little bit. I think general advice I can do, the whole how-to, maybe a little bit out of my league. But, preparation, that's the biggest thing. Be prepared. So in the morning, take time, set up your meals for the day, especially if you're gonna be out, because it's really hard to even eat healthy if you're going out and you're not prepared. Yeah, big challenge. So, we get good things to have around the house, raw nuts. Big, oh, as you can see, a big fan of the raw nuts, and I keep other things like the flax and the quinoa. All this wonderful, you know, even some dried cherries. Coconut oil, huge thing, especially when going raw. Oh, I just, yeah, I'm addicted to that. Peanut butters and almond butters you can get raw. Very good. Keep around all your fresh veg and fruit. Being really stocked up on that is huge. Apple cider vinegar, I know we've talked about this many times before, but I don't know how you can live without it really, especially on a healthy veggie diet. Keep your fridge stocked with good vegetables and prepare your meals. So this is, we're gonna try one of your hummus recipes I got out again tonight. The last one <laughs> didn't turn out good enough for me to share, so yeah, about that. And this is some of Brett's tabbouleh we mixed up. That's lunch. See, just a little bit of preparation goes a long way. Other things really helpful, food dehydrator. This is not the usual kind you'll see. I would recommend probably the electric ones. This one takes a lot of sun and patience. <laughs> so we're, I'm working with it, but and I can't even tell you where to buy one of those. Other than that, juicer, very helpful. And it's not a necessity to have a juicer, but again, just helpful. Especially when utilizing like the bits and bobs that you aren't going to use in other recipes or if you're not good yet at uh, figuring out how much vegetable you're going to eat and you end up with leftovers before it goes bad, you can juice it. Blender. Indispensable. Or food processor. It will really save you a lot of trouble. That's kind of my basic idea for going raw. It's pretty easy. If you have more questions or want to go into it more, we can go into it. Other than finding great web resources for raw recipes, that's... That's really a good platform to start with. And of course, you know, sushi's still raw. <laughs> so we're gonna have a little experiment actually today with uh, the chia crackers again. I know we did a recipe on it before, but I'm gonna try it with honey instead of agave, which is honey is just a little bit more natural. I don't really think it's gonna work that well, but our sesame seeds are ready, so let's give it a go. All right, so. We took a cup of unhauled sesame seeds last night and we soaked those up. Actually, they've been soaking for two days. I kind of sprouted them. So we're really trying two experiments in one day. Not the best practice, but we also need a quarter cup of water, which should help us get the rest of these sesame seeds out. If we can work it properly. Yeah, look at that. Good trick and one cup of chia seeds unsoaked. Love these chia seeds. If you guys don't know about chia seeds, look it up. Or ask me and I'll do a video about it. I'm a big fan. So, our sesame, get our chia. We've got our water. Now we need is our sweetener. Oh. We need half a cup of sweetener. It was date paste, or sorry, date syrup or agave syrup. I don't know about date syrup, but both of them sound processed. So we're going to try and go with the more natural alternative of honey. Winnie the Pooh would be proud. And that's a half a cup of sweetener. We go a little bit less. Just because we're experimenting. Okay, so needed to let it sit for an hour so it could absorb all of the moisture. And it looks like it's done that. So we're going to roll it out. Now, I've cut these sheets of parchment paper to fit our food dehydrator over here which you can't see. <laughs> and I'm gonna portion this out so we can roll it thin. You want it about a quarter to an eighth of an inch thick sheet. That wasn't proper English. I found the easiest way to roll it out. I don't have a rolling pin, so. <laughs> yeah, a glass bottle of water. That works really well. Look at that. Maybe we can just do one sheet. 
Oh no, I just ate some raw. That's the idea. Bad raw food jokes. For a proper transfer, I've got a flat sheet. I think I did this right. Oops. Oh, get it opens up. Ta-da! <laughs> now we're gonna go hang it outside in the sun. And it's ready. Guess who's back? <laughs> Milan! What's he going at? <laughs> what? Oh, that's right. Will they even rescue, recognize you? Rescue you. I wouldn't rescue you without the uh, whiskey girl hat. You gotta have some soup. Of course. Have I'll get a glass. Alright, so you're being introduced to more things now. Um, it's, it's been a good day. The sun did its work, I think. We're gonna see. The chia crackers should be ready. Mo is pouring us mead. I'm sure you've heard Marin talk about this if you've been on the Candy channel. But uh, mead is fermented honey. The origin of alcohol. Did not know that. Also, where the term honeymoon came from. You haven't heard the story? Can it's I get a hint? <laughs> Can we open it? Yeah, go ahead. Open up. We're gonna have out these chia crackers. Now this is that dehydrator that I hang outside in the sun. Some of you have seen it before. And it's, I love it. I love this thing. If you wouldn't be so kind. These are the chia crackers we made today. Ooh, actually it feels like it firmed up pretty good. Pardon me, Mom. <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> what? Pardon me? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> now he got it. Uh, yes, I can do that naive. <laughs> oh wow, this actually this is more firm than the crackers usually are. It looks like the uh, like the Arabic uh, sesame seed candy. And what exactly is this, Dustin? This is, alright, so this was the sprout, you saw the science experiment this morning in the windows. When I'm sprouting foods, everyone calls it a science experiment. Uh, Unhulled sesame seeds sprouted with chia seeds, and this time it's normally like a agave or like maple syrup, but I chose to use honey, a more natural alternative. Let me get a close up of that. Deliciousness. Mmm. And if you'd like, I can do another how-to, but really, I already did one, so... <laughs> follow the link and find it. Milan? Oh, thank you very much. So this is technically a raw food snack. It's actually really, really mellow. It's just like a hint. It's going really good with me. <laughs> oh, you know what? Gluten-free people, this is your cracker for wine and crackers. All right, well, I'm gonna talk with my mouth full. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe and let me know if you liked it. I'm Dustin, this is Milan, and Mo, and you can too. Red Passion Rose wants to know, what is your lifetime wish? Hmm. Hmm. Show you a picture of my dream boat. <laughs> 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 Did not come out the way I meant. <laughs>